MRI is sort of a new technology where they've combined both an MR and a PET scanner together into the same machine. So previously, uh, you had MR machines, which are large, heavy, loud machines that take very exquisite images of certain portions of the body used, predominantly the pelvis, the liver, the brain, image of the heart. Uh, and then you also had PET CTs. So PET CTs was sort of a huge change in staging of oncologic diseases because you can use radio tracers like radio labeled sugars or FDG that will then go to areas such as tumors or other conditions to tell us where they are. So you can use it for localization of disease. They've combined together a PET and a CT in the late 90s to create a PET CT which is now used by millions of people around the world in terms of staging as cancer. So this technology, the PET MRI, takes the PET uh, detector from a PET CT and puts it in the middle of an MRI. So an MRI looks like a big donut. You go inside of the machine and around the edge of the donut is where the PET detector lies. So while you're in the middle of the scanner and it's acquiring the MR images of the body, uh, it'll also be acquiring PET data to tell you where an injected radio tracer is within the body. So you can simultaneously image the body using the MR while you're getting data from the PET acquisition.